Today is Friday, the 12th of January 2024, and I'm here at the recently renamed, once again, Guangyang Railway Station. Over the past 13 or 14 years, the station was first known as Langfang, then Langfang North, and now Guangyang. What hasn't changed, though, is the fact that you could buy a railway ticket from here to anywhere in China. Yet the railway ticket itself has also undergone quite a bit of change, especially more recent years. These tickets are the veterans of a mall. Edmondson tickets, which were in use across parts of China until as late as 2007. These red tickets then took over, after being briefly printed in the very beginning on blue paper. These tickets showed you everything you needed to know about your train. Your stations of departure and of arrival, your train number, your date and time of travel, and where your seat or berth was, as well as your class of travel and how much you paid amongst others. The validity was always very short. Only on much earlier tickets could it be used even after you broke your journey en route. A rule which is now relegated pretty much to the history books. In a much earlier era, you could actually specify a specific routing for your ticket. These days, it's far less the case. The blue magnetic tickets were pretty much the same thing, except for instead of waiting for a human to punch your ticket, you could let a machine do pretty much the same thing. Some of these are special edition tickets, including these for the Beijing Winter Olympics. They're still in use today, but merely as expense receipts or official proof of payment, as these days, with very few exceptions, just about all railway tickets in mainland China and Hong Kong are e-tickets. E-tickets mean paperless travel. Nobody has to turn up with anything else other than the identity document they used to buy their ticket with. A printed itinerary is available, and in fact for visitors and expats using passports could come in quite handy. But you don't absolutely need to have one to travel. In fact, if you turned up with just the itinerary slip and nothing else, you're probably not going to be admitted for travel unless you show matching ID. E-tickets have also replaced printed tickets on board, at stations, and even if you for some reason or the other have to pay at the exit gates. These are rare. I get to use these maybe every 500 or 1,000 journeys, because in China, you're expected to be ticketed the moment you're at the entry gates. But old habits die hard. For now, there are tickets involving a Chinese destination, which regularly requires printed tickets. Apart from maybe a handful of very isolated lines, it's the international tickets, including those to and from Mongolia, and especially the China to Laos Railway. If you take the train from Laos going into China, Lao border guards even stamp on your ticket leaving the country. Now that indeed is a souvenir well worth getting a good picture frame for.